Hello and welcome to Flippin' Live. I'm bored. I got nothing to do, so I thought I'd go live. I do have something to do, kinda. Um, oh, look it. There's people watching. I didn't even do anything yet. Um, LR Artunist. Hey, what's up? If you're watching right now, there's like four people watching. Um, because I didn't like announce it, I didn't post it, I didn't do like a whole week in advance, I figured not many people are going to probably tune in. But if you're watching, hey, leave a comment. That'd be cool. Um, so what am I going to do? I can't do much. I, I can't show you much because I like showed these all off last live stream. Um, oh, Demir, what's up? Oi. Hi, Pat. Hello, Angel. How are you? Good to see you. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, okay, this is what I'm working on. I have, I've had this idea in my head. I've had a few ideas in my head for this channel, but um, some of them more successful than others. Some of them never implemented because of how lazy I am. But I've been kind of fixated on buttons lately, um, like manufacturing buttons, not just for this channel, but for like myself. Like I want to get a button maker for my classroom and stuff. Um, but anyway, I was trying to think about making buttons for this channel and probably just give them, I don't know. Nobody wants to, I'll tell you what, nobody wants to buy these things. The stickers never sold a single one. I think the people who do the Patreon are pleased with them, pleased enough. Um, but uh, buttons, I don't expect anybody to buy them, but at least it would be something neat that I could like send to people that's mad related. And I think they're kind of cool because one, um, I think mad related stuff is cool. And I think that like non-official merchandise is sometimes kind of cool. And that's what I'm, I'm thinking about doing. Um, and so I doodled up some, some things and I was thinking about trying to draw on air and make something kind of okay looking. Um, so this is it. This is what I got so far. A um, few things. One, the one that I'm going to try to draw today is like a better version of this, the Dave Berg fan club. I think that that would be good because one, I think I'm somewhat well known for my distaste of Dave Berg. That's the first thing. I also think that my distaste for my opinion of Dave Berg is actually mischaracterized. And I might play into it myself a little bit, um, but because uh, I do like him, I especially like him really early on. Um, but I just don't like most of what he spent his career doing. But I do like him, um, so I was thinking it'd be kind of fun to do a little bit of a wink and a nod and do a Dave Berg fan club button. I think it'd be cool to make a flip the bird button. Um, so I just drew. A, like a real quick flip the bird. Maybe do like some fancy lettering or something, right? Wouldn't that be cute? Flip the bird. And then you see our friend flip the bird. And then, I don't know, I just really like Richard Nixon. So I drew a Nixon button. And here, this grotesque, this horrible miscarriage of art uh, is me trying to draw from memory Alfred E. Newman. Um it didn't, I don't, I feel ashamed. I, I'm not going to scratch it out because I don't like to like destroy drawings like that. Um, I did the best job that I could at the time. Um, but anyway, so I kind of want to draw that again. I'm going to, boop, here we go. Um, I may actually pull up some, here I'm going to switch some of these windows around. Uh, I think I need to use some reference. And so I want to find some Dave, Dave Berg art, not Dave Berg art, but like Dave Berg's face. Oh, hey, Shane, what's up, man? Look, this is getting like, I got five people viewing. This is like pretty awesome for um, you know, not putting it out there at all. Um, I'm working on my button designs, Shane, and we'll see how it turns out but i have to figure out what dave berg looks like dave berg ad magazine 
I don't know. I got to get his face here. Maybe I'll share the browser too. I don't think anything messed up is going to come up. Um, and like, there's this picture that always pops up, but I need to go off something like, like this almost. Why does it say my name? What the hell? There, that's better. Um, that is something to consider. I haven't really thought about that. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It didn't pop into my mind. So it's like that partially to me says, I mean, I like Spy versus Spy, but I don't know what I would do with it. Um, I think I had fun with Flip the Bird because I did that one video on it. Dave Berg is obviously um, like an inside joke for this uh, channel and like the people who just like hang out with me. Um, but, oh yeah, here I need something more like this as reference. I don't know. I'm like, for some reason I can picture what Dave Berg looks like um but i can't i can't see what did you miss okay well i i'm gonna start looking i'll switch to the overhead view these are my button doodles so flip the bird that was one idea for a, uh the button doodle and then dave berg that's another one and then you know i don't know this is like don't look at that this is this is horrible um i was trying to think of some other things that would be i don't know mad related but also related to the channel like i want to find that balance um yeah so i don't know and for the all caps oh sorry i was late and for all caps no i always i read any comment as a sh sh being shouted at me so that's all right um so yeah, anyway i'm trying to like find a picture of dave berg because obviously you look at this this is not what dave berg looks like right? I mean, he has hair and glasses. Dave Berg too had hair and glasses and a pipe, but it's not quite right. So I need to find like, I don't know, there's like this image in my head that I have that is, maybe it's like something like this. I don't know. Where's like a bigger side? Maybe it's like, oh yeah, he has the sideburns too. He kind of has like wavy hair. Is that it? I think maybe that's it. You know what? <laughs> Ask a bunch of them. Yeah, well, no, I, I, I that is true. I could. Um, I kind of want to try my hand at drawing it. And at least, you know what else is helpful is if I can draw what I want um, and give it to them, then I can get something closer to what I actually want. You know what I'm saying? So like when, um, well, and also like, I don't, to be honest, I don't have the money to pay an artist to do something for me. And I don't want to, because I I do, I make money on this channel because the overhead is zero. It costs me nothing to make these and I get Patreon stuff. So I feel like it would be, it would be wrong um oh angel yes yeah send it dm me on instagram because i think i've signed it on my computer um i don't know it just seems like i feel like it'd be somewhat wrong to uh when i make money to try to ask somebody to do something that they do for a living for free um so i don't know yeah so if i pay them to do it i want to give them something that's very close to what i want but also if I, what if I do a good job, Shane? Here, let me get to Instagram real quick. All right, look at this. I don't have a compass, so I'm gonna use this cup. This is how a real artist works, guys, okay? You go into any place, you, you go into Jack Kirby's studio, you go into Tom Richmond's studio, you're going to see cups, cups of varying sizes. And do you know what? You could ask them and say, hey, what's that cup for? And they'll say, it's for making circles. That's what that cup is for. 
Oh, yeah, maybe this would be a good one. Okay. Open image in new tab. There we go. Ooh, all right. So this is, I'll show you guys what I'm working from now. This, I think this is good. I think I can work with this. Boy, those are thick glasses. How do you draw wavy hair? My goodness, you guys are going to watch, you're going to watch a man suffer uh, in an attempt to draw. Um, yeah, man, that's like, uh, to be honest, I've, I've really wanted to, um, I like doodling. I like drawing. I like, uh, I have like, I buy just sort of cheap ones, but like, I like doing little watercolors, like real simple stuff. Um, and yeah, I really do like it. I enjoy it quite a bit. Um, and I do want to get better at it. So I should practice. And like something like this, like for Mad Magazine, like, or in the service of my channel that's Mad related, it's kind of more fun to do. And I don't know, like people who are artists, I don't know if this happens to them, but like I get uh, sometimes just uh, bogged down a little bit and I don't know um what to draw and i have a hard time like kickstarting my brain um and so i think that you know having a project having like an aim is very helpful for me so i don't know i guess i don't know i bet that's how it is for a lot of people um let's see I don't really know what to do with do 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 Dave. There we go. That's that'll make sense, right? I mean, like this lettering or whatever isn't that good. It's just sort of like I don't know, really uh, boring. But that's all I gotta like. What I really gotta focus on is that face. Hex Allen Comics, what's up, bro? Hey, thanks for dropping by. Yeah, that's what I that's what I figure. It's like it's not something that's like unique to me. And uh I do appreciate that. But it's uh sometimes, you know, it gets difficult to be motivated. Um how do I want to do this face? I kind of want him looking up, right? Um, and he has like this kind of like cute little round nose. But like the glasses, are you like these thick frames? I think they're more rectangular than that though. Maybe that's closer to it. All right. Right? Doesn't he have sort of like that like cute little round nose, like a little cherub or something? <laughs> He's got a cherubic face. The problem is, like, how do you, how do you draw wavy fucking hair? Dude, his hair is so weird. Look at this. It's like he has, it's like he has waves, you know, like you see with like black guys where they put it in and they do the, the hair covering and then they take it off and it's like all of the, the hairs are like magically going in the same direction. That's what he has. How did that work? I don't know. Um, last minute art stream. Yeah, that is true. It's like, this is a, a pretty big um, departure from what I normally do. So um, I would be, I guess, yeah. What am I saying? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's a corn cob pipe. That's part of the reason why this this one didn't look right. I didn't even do the right pipe. It's supposed to be a corn cob pipe. Right? Boom. There we go. That's all. Look at that's already looking so much more Bergian. 
You know what I'm looking at though, is I'm seeing these other ones that are just more of a, um, it's more of a, um, I don't know, like the glasses are a different shape. I think they're like a taller thing. They're almost like a, an oval or like they're like slightly more rounded. Did he have like, like kind of like aviator style things? Like almost like those wireframe ones. Is it, was it like that, that he was dealing with? I think it is. Just not mirrored or whatever. I get sued all the time. You find an image and trace it. It would be different enough to, uh, for you to not get sued. What does that mean? Does that mean you're does that mean you're drunk? Wait, horn room glasses. Yeah, except okay, look at I gotta look at this though. If you look at this, you know, he's not wearing those. If you look at uh Tom Richmond's up here, not wearing those. I think he I mean he had I know what you're talking about, and he did. He did have the horn room ones, like almost like uh this Dave Berg laughs at you. Um, yeah, yeah, like Popeye, good old Popeye. Yeah, no, I don't mind. Uh, I've, I've, I mean, I've never traced. I like, you know, it was weird. Oops. Oh, yeah, that's the one I went. What was weird is that, um, maybe it's not weird. I was always under the impression, uh, wrongly, obviously, that, um, people like artists uh i'll use that like uh, idea of like uh like a real artist doesn't use reference i don't know where i got this idea but i always thought like artists create like painters whatever all of their uh beautiful artwork comes just from their mind that's it and uh i didn't have things that could just i wouldn't i was never able to reproduce things just from memory and then I think it was like the Robert Crumb uh, documentary that I saw where he was like going through how he has this like binders of reference photos and he'll like just take them out and he'll put them on and then he'll look at it and he'll draw it. And that's that. And I thought like that was kind of mind blowing to me because I just assumed that artists were able to create things from whole cloth almost, um, or at least like have this perfect recollection of, of images, um, which, you know, now I know is baloney, but is, um, yeah, I don't know. I think that affected my development as an artist. Uh, and I use that term very loosely. Um, Here, does that look kind of better having like the more aviator style ones? I don't really know how to draw a mouth. Here's got those like little, these things, these like wear lines. I don't know. Well, that'd be cool. That'd be a, here. You know, I'd like zap that off pretty quick. I can look at something and draw it as if I'm a human printing machine. Yeah, I've seen things like that where, I mean, not like a human printing machine, but I've seen people who are able, obviously, to draw like photorealistic images. And I mean, that's like, uh, usually they're using reference. Um, or like, um, who is that great artist? He was a portraiture artist. Um, Chuck Close. Um, and he was somebody, wait a second, wait, with the hair. Isn't this, oh yeah, isn't that like Harry Osborne? Harry Osborne had those waves, isn't that, that's how they drew him. They would do the horizontal lines 
for like Spider Man. You know, so Harry Osborne would have like he had like a crazy widow's peak, but then they would just go whoop 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 whoop, and they had like these sort of like wiggly lines. That's how they showed the waves. Maybe that's what I need to do. I gotta figure out these eyes too. <laughs> just some like dead shark eyes. There we go. Yeah, that's okay right there. How the frick am I going to get? Does that make sense? How's that for a Berg? It's looking good. I appreciate that. The eyes don't really match the, the style of the rest of this thing. But I don't know. I think that that might be like somewhat passable. Who knows? So I want to do something like Dave Berg. And then you have his face and his corn cob pipe, which I think has to get moved out over here. A little bit further. And then I want to do something like, I don't know, well. Like a, almost like a banner. Would that be too corny? So we do that, and then it's like, I guess I want, no, 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 no. I want it like this. Something like this? I don't know. Uh, and then it would say fan club. And of course, I fudged up the spacing, so it's all jacked up. Um, can you just go away with reversing one of his? Yeah, but that that eliminates all the fun. That eliminates the fun of me being able to have a hand in creating it. Um, so, yes, the answer is yes, I could. But I don't know. I, I, I would like to have it be um, all mine. Mo, you know, like if not my drawing, um, then at least my idea. Um, I can't fit the word fan club on this. Not how big I'm drawing this. This is the hardest part of it, you know, is like trying to um, nice integrity. That could, <laughs> that was good. That could come off as a. Um, <laughs> Yeah, nice integrity flipping through. Uh, Hans Holbein uses shadow boxes to trace images and nobody important criticized him. Yeah, well, and of course there were things like, um, uh, who is it? Was it Wally Wood said, never, never draw what you can trace, never trace what you can copy and never copy what you can cut out and paste in. Um, so yeah, I think that there was, um, for though for like old comic artists, there was a much different um, view on that. And you know, which is like understandable because a lot of those guys were pumping out a lot of work. They were working just constantly. Um, no, I, I yeah, I don't I've never done digital. I actually, I do have like a little tablet I bought a long time ago, but it's, um, I find that very difficult. Look at now I drew, I drew like lips on him. Now he looks like maybe like a sexy lady. Um, I have to uh, redo this hair up here. Let 
there. I think I'm getting, I think I'm not going to draw the hairline. I can simply, here I'll have his, you know, sideburns. And then maybe I do like this, like the wavy thing to show his, that can, boom. Okay, first off, it can show his gray hair. And two, it can show his, um, what you might call it, the waviness. I'm just like, these eyes are bugging me though. These eyes are like kind of creeping me out. What do his eyes look like? His eyes look like what I drew. It's kind of hard to use reference though with him because it's like, it's all caricature. So it's like I'm drawing basically a caricature of a caricature. Um, so I don't know how successful I will be. Um, Oh, I think that's what I need to do. I need to do a little more sympathetic eye. Boom. Oh, dude. I think that got it. Oh, I think I got him. All right. This is not exactly what I wanted. Um, but that's good. All right. This is about learning. This is about the process, guys. That's what it is. Um, I don't have a pencil sharpener, but I really wish I did. And I want to know like more. Hey, how about this? Leave some comments. What have you guys been reading lately? What have you been picking up? I mean, I know like some of you guys are comics guys, but you, uh, a lot of you are like those old comics. You don't really read anything super recent. Randy Rhodes documentary? Who's Randy Rhodes? Should I know that name? Should I not say a question like, who is Randy Rhodes out loud? Rick and Morty comics. How do those, how are those? I mean, like I've watched the cartoon. Um, but how, how are, do the, does it translate very well? I mean, like, I can't imagine that they have um, the same people who are writing the show write the comics. Maybe in, like, the first series of comics, but, like, not now, right? How to read Nancy. Ozzy's first guitarist after he was fired by Black Sabbath. Oh, the guy was incredible. That does sound interesting. That's like, there was a guy, wasn't it with like, um, I mean, this is very different from Black Sabbath, but like Guns N' Roses, wasn't there a guitarist for Guns N' Roses? And he, like he quit the band. Maybe it was Motley Crue or something, but one of them um, quit the band like right before they broke. And, um, I think there's a lot of examples like that, which would suck. That would be miserable. I, th I do think these glasses are wrong, though. So I think I have to, like, I don't think I want horn rim, but I want, like, something bigger like this, but that is not... Yeah, maybe something like that. That might be a little bit closer. Maybe not as round on this side. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Reads. Who reads? I just look at the pictures. Well, you've seen how I read a mad magazine. <laughs> I get to the movie things. I'm like, too many words. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Anyways, quit quiet, quiet Riot to join Ozzy. Dude, like, was it before Quiet Riot was big? Does this dude just have, like, the worst luck of all time? You're just as good as the cartoon. They're kind of separate from the series in a way. A lot of new characters and references from the show. My favorite ones read the D&D &D ones. Huh, very interesting. 
All right, now I'm going to try to like ink this. Is this the one I want? Or is this the one I want? That's too small. Oh, hold on. All right. Let's try to ink this. I might have to like, like hunch over. Hopefully I don't sound horrible. Wait, yes. My God, that poor dude. All right, here we go. Oh, I got to flip this over because the stickers are going to screw it all up. I got to have a smooth surface. All right, now let's see how I do. I have to, I forgot I'm doing a live stream. So I should probably talk while I do this. so as not to lose people's interest because I'm certain that drawing a line is not all of that, all that interesting. But I'm trying to do a very good job so that I can, you know, when I have to do this the next time, I can do an even better job. Cause yeah, this is, this can't be the final draft. I don't think this will, I don't think this will be it. Um, Where's that picture of him again? I kind of want to see his face. Yeah. Yeah. See, he does have a, a big, a cute little nose. All right. Somebody say something. I'm becoming a artist. I'm reading the new She-Hulk series. Oh, Shane, I wanted to ask you, what did you think of that Disney Plus thing? That thing's getting roasted. Oh, people are just tearing it apart. I started watching it. Um, I didn't get I didn't get very far. I got not because like I had to turn it off, but um, it was just I wasn't able to finish watching it. That's all. Um, Let's see. I'm reading the comments. Hey, you got to start somewhere. I bought a copy of Bad. Actually, I bought both the hard and soft cards. I hope it becomes a series. Bad? I don't know that one. I read the most pedestrian comics um, that you can imagine. I read DC Comics. And I read titles such as Batman. And yeah, that stuff. I read like just like the real basic stuff. Because I don't know, I just like that. All right, we've got the old piper -roo. And I think there's usually like this part that like splits off. What part is the black part of a corn cob pipe though? Is it the part you put your mouth on? Corn cob pipe. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's the part you put your mouth on. So I got to darken this in. I'm kind of afraid to do the, um, to draw his lips. I think he kind of has like these thin little lips. Like a lizard, you know what I'm saying? Of course he's got uh, sideburns going down. 
because you know he wasn't a total square man he had like you know i think that was his way of being like i'm cool with the long hairs all right i got sideburns um it's goofy i knew it definitely needed to be in, in on the joke it's disappointed by the lack of action in yesterday's episode um yeah well and that's like i listened to a podcast it's called tell him steve dave and it's um i don't know just these three guys from new jersey they were like friends of kevin smith and um they started a podcast together and one of the guys is in impractical jokers um but they were talking about it and it's like the the cgi is horrible but like one of the guys pointed out is that like for a long time um she hulk was the character that broke the fourth wall i got like in my collection of like i like the i collect infinity covers and there's one where it's like she's on the cover holding the cover uh, talking to the reader and i think she refers to him as like fanboy or something like that like that is sort of what that character was um and so i think some of the people that are disap who don't like that or put off by that didn't don't really know that much about the character but um the last lack of action yeah i don't know i don't know you feel like you're bad oh, <laughs> oh i'm so dumb uh but but the heart is i hope it becomes a series um hey did it come did it arrive yet um okay yeah i'm so stupid have I, yeah um yeah i did that here i'll show it to you guys right here boom bad magazine um it was fun it was a fun book to flip through and i think there is another one coming out uh, or something else from him here i should check because he i don't know so he sent me a message um because i just like let him know that i flipped through it and he said uh he was like i got another book to send you so maybe it yeah maybe there will be another one um i hope so that'd be that'd be cool man um i'm so stupid sometimes uh, Disney's live action Pinocchio was so bad that you're better off waiting for the Guillermo del Toro Pinocchio one to come. Um, or watch the other bad but funny one with Polly Shore. Um, all Disney aims for is live action crap. Yeah, the live action stuff is, it's a shame that they're just remaking the stuff. And I mean, because they're remaking things that were, um, I think like, <laughs> I don't know it's it's hard to say objectively when it comes to art but like i do think that like some of the stuff that they're remaking is like objectively masterpieces um like pinocchio i re i watched pinocchio with my kindergartner and it's amazing it was it's like it's so great um it's it's kind of unreal how how entertaining a movie that old is i mean it's not because i grew up watching three stooges so i'd expect something from you know like the 60s or whatever to you know hold its weight Ooh, that's not right you guys some of these some of the parts of this dave berg I'm feeling like a little nervous to commit to paper. Or to like commit to pen. I mean, like the lips and stuff. Um, I have no idea how to draw a mouth. Um, yeah that's not how you draw a mouth i mean maybe it is but that's not how you draw a man's mouth Jeez, louise read through it the day i got it if i get both this and freaky i won't be so angry about how things have gone downhill with mad mad fans putting out great homages but also very original 
I don't like I I would love to I don't know maybe I should just maybe I should just mention like a uh, message Tom Richmond and be like hey do you know anything about the state of Mad Magazine um because I don't know man it just seems like to me that 70th anniversary or 75th anniversary one with is I, it feels like a good sign to me, but I don't know. Um, I don't know. And I, I just, I don't like sometimes like it, it's so easy for me to confuse my, like what I want versus what is like practical. Um, oh, I think I need it. No, that might, that would probably be weird. I think. Do I do, do I do something like that? Or is that just too weird? Maybe I just go weird with it. Maybe that's what I do. Make him like, <laughs> give him some weird lightning bolt hair. Is that what I need to do with this? Jeez Louise, guys, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <sighs> hmm. I really want to produce finished product for at least one of these buttons yeah should i go with that just do that all right i might just do that 70th anniversary would be a great time to revamp man and publish new stuff again well i mean I'd like they got the they're, they're doing it right like that newest issue is going to be um actual stuff like new stuff um likely some reprints but Um, yeah, I think that it's going to be a lot of new stuff. I know that Tom Richmond posted on his Instagram that there's going to be some new stuff. Um, there we go. Boom. <laughs> I ruined it. Oh, that didn't turn out great, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Nothing. That's what I'm going to do. So now that I've ruined it, I can just... Um, I can just finish it. Now I don't have to like worry. So, well, you're being kind. Thank you. But you're being, you're being kind. Um, oh yeah. Let me see if I can do this thing too. Oh yeah, I'm recording a show. I should say stuff. So um, here we go. I'm going to attempt to do the fan club, even though I screwed up everything about it. Um, let me see if I can not screw it up. So And this is like sort of like the dumbest lettering possible, but it is uh, very easy to do. It's almost like that type of lettering that you would see on old tattoos. You know, it's like, it's just very easy. You just do like a big letter, then you just like draw a line. Like, and that's it. Uh, it's like the first type of lettering that was not just like simple bubble letters that I ever learned how to do. 
And I felt like, I felt like a badass that I knew how to do it. Like I was a tattoo artist. Oh, geez. And I tried to do the letters smaller, but I still managed to fudge it up. Ah, oh, geez, Louise. There's like new, new chats. What is this? More decent than my art signatures. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Let's see. I wonder. Yeah, this little banner doesn't really fit, but I think they're kind of like the little, these little swirly, twisty banners are really fun to draw. So I'm just going to do it anyway. Well, fan club. Um, how am I going to do the Dave Berg, though? Maybe I'll try different lettering. I should zoom out so that I'm not, like, crowding the screen. Um, for those of you just joining us, there's seven people watching. That means there's bound to be new viewers. Um, I'm working on um, buttons. I'm working on a button design, and I'm, I'm trying to draw. I have two button ideas currently. One button idea is Dave Berg Fan Club. The other button idea I'll show right now, Flip the Bird. All right, so these are my like rough, rough sketches. So there's going to be a Dave Berg button and a Flip Dave Berg Fan Club button and a Flip the Bird button. Um, also, listen, we're in the trust tree, so please don't be too judgmental about this drawing. This is me drawing Alfred E. Newman from memory. <laughs> Pretty nightmarish. Anyway, I'm trying to think of uh, maybe a few other designs. Um, not, I haven't, I'm not being super successful right now, but if you just turn, tuned in, hey, consider giving a thumb up or, um, you know, something else. Maybe I'll just do like, like real chubby bubble letters. Oh, this would probably fit better. Um, ooh, that would be fun. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, that would be so awesome. Dave Berg tramp stamp. Oh, look at these bubble letters. I think this might be the ticket. I need to do something like this. So we'll go B. I actually made the other one not quite right. This is not... All right, let me just do the Berg. Let me just test this part out, all right? Ah, but the Arthur, Arthur the avocado plant, um, that might be a really fun one too. Let's see. Look at maybe something like this that's sort of like trippy, you know, like has that kind of weird postery feel to it. Look at Dave Berg. Look at that's like 70s style, right? Al Jaffe. That could be one too. I don't know. I don't feel as much of a connection with um jaffe as i do with berg that's why like berg to me is like a no-brainer um but 
boom. Oh, yeah. I love this. Look at this. Okay. This is... So, okay, maybe this isn't the best one for um, the button. But it is fun to draw. I'll tell you that much. Boom. Dave Berg, fan club. What's this one? You should be pretty good at copying Don Martin. Yeah, I never thought about like the copying thing. Should I put like a little shadow on these? I think I might need to. But maybe I need to maybe I need to have this come up a little bit since I've done that on the other one. Right? That would only make sense. Oh yeah, I gotta keep talking. I just need somebody to remind me to not stop talking. Um, hey, thanks for stopping by, man. Um, I'll see you around. Yeah. I appreciate the comments and uh, appreciate you hanging out for as long as you did. Um, all right, I think I need to make these glasses all black. I don't know, maybe I can salvage the hair somehow. But I just feel like here I gotta like dip down so I don't screw up these like coloring in these glasses. I cannot help but feel I, I did sort of screw up the glasses. I did get I've got like a little watercolor set next to me too. So I was thinking about doing that, doing a little painting on it, but I'm not sure if that makes sense for this button. Maybe like painting the background. I don't know how to get a flesh colored um, tone with my watercolors. So I could like, I'll like paint him, watercolor him in and he'll end up looking all jaundiced. That is, and I know that from experience that ends up happening. Um <laughs> It's very top so you're very hush hush. That'd be good. That'd be cool, man. I mean, like, I don't know. Yeah, that'd be pretty that'd be that'd be wild. Um all right, let's see. Ah, I don't know what to do. Uh you know what I think I have to do? I'm gonna do Okay, I'll do some like little shadow things on this. Boom. Probably like that too. All right, now I got to erase, erase a bunch of these lines. And I guess that will reveal what needs more work. That's usually what happens. Like you can kind of see, you, know, you have all those extra lines and stuff. And I, I watched a YouTube video and it was like, why do my sketches look so much better than like when I do the ink stuff, put the inks on? And the guy was saying, cause you, you don't have enough detail in the inks, that's why. All of those like extra little lines they they give you a lot more detail. Ooh, the Dave Berg certificate of quality. Oh, dude, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Dave Berg certificate of quality. I don't really know. I don't know what to do. What else with this? Like, if I want to render his face, like do like little shadows. Like something like that. I 
I don't know. That might you guys might not even be able to see that what I did. It might be too light. Um, I think I should probably do that in watercolors. That's what I'll do. All right. So this is hold on. All right. I'm gonna bust them out. Let's see if I can do something that makes sense. I bet you I can get a flesh color. We'll see. I use super cheap watercolors, you guys. I know you've come, um, you've come to me for all like the art advice. So um, buy the cheapest watercolors you can find. All right, that's my tip. That's my pro tip. All right. Um, what is this? A, like kind of. I have some stuff like dried on my palette, so maybe that'll be like flesh colored. Is that the color of skin? No. I need like some white and some yellow, right? Oh, boom. I think I nailed it. I think I nailed it right off the bat. All right, here we go. I got to get over it a little bit more. Oh my God, you guys, I'm a genius. Let me go. Oh no, I'm all I'm all out. I have to like recreate it. This is bad now. Ah, oh, jeez. See, I screwed it all up. I jinxed myself. I was praising my genius. Only to be humiliated moments later. Boom. Okay, I'm back. I'm back to genius mode, guys. Don't worry. Oh, whew. There are these professional markers. Come on, man. What did I just say? What was my one piece of artistic advice? Buy the cheapest watercolors you can find. Do you think I've ever used professional anything? Jeez, Louise. I should I should ban you just for asking that. Don't wonder about too much color. All right. I won't wonder about it. So there's this face. I don't know. What should I do for the background? Okay, I'm going to do sort of a brownish yellow thing. Oh, is that red? Christ. Dude, being colorblind, let me tell you, being colorblind really sucks sometimes. Especially if you're like trying to do something cool. No. It's just like you can't see stuff the way it's supposed to be seen. It's just like such a bummer sometimes. So you're like, this will turn out how I want it to. Oh, no, it won't. I think this is like a lot more red than I want it to be. But who cares? This thing's a screw up anyway. It's like, this is learning. This is a learning experience. I'm learning what I don't want in my Dave Berg button. I'm learning... Um, what an unsuccessful live stream is. <laughs> I'm learning. Um, yeah, I'm learning about lots of things right now. Um, here, I'm just going to go ape on this. I'm not going to color all those letters. Who am I kidding? Boom. All right, so we got Dave Berg. I need to get like a little bit of darkness, some like shadow on Dave Berg's face, get some depth. So let's see, slightly darker.
Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I got to talk. Crime in Italy. Worry lines on his face. What's a worry line? Is that this? Or is that like up here on his forehead? Which one's the worry line? I know what a worry wart is, but what is the worry line? Oof. Man, what's fun about watercolors is that they are pretty forgiving. And so like if you catch it fast enough, you can kind of erase goof offs, goof uh, uh blah, blah, blah. goof ups, like when you screw it. Uh screw thing. Oh, you meant darker color. I thought you were going to make it scary or disturbing somehow. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. No, I just mean like get some shadows or something. I don't know. I got to figure out this hair. So I am like, I don't know. I'm not, I'm just sort of like marking up the sides too, just so I can kind of see. I really got to move in on this one. You know what I'm going to do? There we go. I'm just going to fill in a bunch of that. And then I'll have that like down here be that sort of like gray and white salt and pepper stuff. I think that's what I'll do. Let's see. I think some like darker, darker spots, right? Isn't that how, what his hair was like? <laughs> Who knows? Because it's all black and white. Maybe he was a redhead. Worry lines due to deadlines missed. Yeah, but what is the worry line? Is that in your forehead? Is that what I need to add? That was my question. Not where do you where does one get worry lines? A wait. I don't oh yeah, I was talking about that before you showed up. I don't really know because I made all these stickers. And I, I mean, I don't know. Me, I think maybe my Etsy site has been like gone defunct. Um, but I don't think I don't think people are really in the mood. I got like five hundred something subscribers. It's kind of a hard sell for the the stickers. Maybe I need to get new designs of stickers. But I got so many of those fucking things. I gotta I gotta give them away. I gotta give them away to to patrons. But I don't know. Also, people who are just cool. But if I give them away to people who are just cool, then the patrons are like, well, what's the point of that? Um, so I think it would probably be the buttons just start off as something for the Patreon. I don't know. Um, okay. Oh, they are the forehead ones. Excellent. Okay, here we go. I got one. I got some worry lines I'm going to put in. Boom. There we go. Hey, dude, that actually, yeah, that was very good. I like that suggestion. Um, I got to like fill in the background a little bit though. What brush is this? What brush is this? Here's the other thing that I like to do. Another artist pro tip. I like to make the brushes. I like to buy the, the cheapest available brushes. It makes a, it does make the painting um, incredibly hard. It makes it very difficult to get the brush to do exactly what you want it to do. 
uh, it's also not rewarding at all when you finally do get it to do what you want it to do. Hey, which one of these, what color is this one? Is this blue? I guess I'll just do a blue background. Better be blue. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. That's blue to fall. I will say this, it is, um, it is fun to kind of do this with an audience. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying this. And because it's not like, I'll tell you what else is nice is like, it's, it's not like a regular live stream. So it's like, I don't feel as much pressure to be entertaining, you know, um, or to like, uh, you know, I mean, I want to be entertaining, but it's not the same, you know, it's not the same feeling of like, I got to have fill every single minute. So I've been kind of like joking about not being silent while I'm focused on parts of it, but, um, not really that concerned. Yeah, nice. Yeah, but I don't think many of my relatives are all that interested in <laughs> the uh, the stickers for my Mad Magazine YouTube, dedicated YouTube channel. You know what I should do? You know, so like as part of my this like shtick, I just started to make proclamations like that I'm the number one YouTube Mad Magazine YouTube channel. Um, I wonder, would I get in trouble if I started making proclamations like I am the official Mad Magazine YouTube channel? Uh, that might be kind of fun if I got some shit from Warner Brothers. Get like a cease and desist. From... <laughs> You're like, hey, uh, quit telling people you're the official one. All you do is talk about Richard Nixon and how much you hate Dave Berg. Please stop. Oh, geez. Yeah, some of this is getting a little choppy, but I guess that's okay. I mean, the letters are like, this is, there's no way that this is what the letters of it are going to look like. But maybe, you know, maybe this is what Dave Berg will look like. I am, I do have to say, guys, you know, this is not, it doesn't look enough like Dave Berg for it to be the final product. But, I will say I am I'm pleased with myself. I'll say that. Um I'm not I'm it's always like sometimes it's hard to see a project through to the end. Like it's just, you know, you abandon it. I I I'll say I'll say me statements or I statements. Um I'll abandon drawings if I feel like they aren't going the way I want them to. But there is like a reward in um, seeing it through to the end, even if like you, um, even if it is not something that is going to be that sort of like final product, like seeing it through to the end is nice. It's meaningful. It's useful to do, to do that. Um, now I got to... What should I do with these letters? These letters are really kind of an enigma for me. I don't really, I'm not sure what to do. Um, oh, shit. I didn't do the, the pipe. Are those brown? I bet they're brown. Oh, shoot. Too much, too much. There we go. Yeah, that makes sense. That looks like something. 
misspell official. That'll oh yeah, that's a, a good way to cover your ass. I bet. Just be like, it's not. I misspelled it. You know, there that there has to be some type of uh, legal precedent for that, right? How long have I been going? An hour and eleven minutes. What am I going to do? I, maybe color in these things. Color them in yellow, blue, and yellow. That looks good, right? Yeah, that'll be fine. As you can see, like the the thoughtfulness for this has um, <laughs> diminished substantially. Uh, yeah, I'm just like, you know, I think once I got to the point where I felt like I ruined the hair, um, it was just something I had to, I kind of gave up on it. I think it was the hair that did me in, to be honest with you. That's it, guys. I think that's going to be it. That is my Dave Berg fan club button design. And um, I don't know. We'll see. I, I do want to try drawing him again or like painting him again. Um, he's kind of like... I don't know. There's something I didn't capture. I mean, the, the the short answer is like Dave Berg, Pat. You didn't capture Dave Berg. Um, but I feel like he's almost there. I feel like I've almost captured him. And I just need to, to get that next, get to that next part. Okay, let's see if I can do this. What the hell? Didn't even work. Ah, oh, well. Okay, so that was, I tried to make it a cool outline, but that obviously didn't work. Yeah, I think that, generally speaking, I feel like, I feel like that's an improvement. All right? What else can you ask for except, you know, be improving, becoming better at what you are doing. I'm going to wrap it up. Um, I think it's getting late here. Let's see. 1117 here in Minnesota. Lovely Minnesota. Let me see. I, f I understand about the satisfaction of a completed project. Um, I'm having a hard time with my new rug because I'm trying to get, I'm trying a whole new approach. It's a little daunting. I want to get it right. It's for my sister. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I think like, yeah, with your thing, it's, it's like you make those beautiful, like designed hook and latch rugs. And I mean, I feel like it's almost got to be the opposite where it's hard to give up on something because it seems like you invest a great deal of time and effort into them. Whereas like if a drawing doesn't go well, it costs me nothing to crumple it and throw it away. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That's interesting. Uh, make it obvious this is fan art. Corporate styles, corporate types will ignore fans. The bad press would cost them. Yeah, I'm not even, I'm not worried about it, man. Like, I'm such a small fish. Um, I would be shocked if they had anything to say about it. And plus, they don't own the, the you know, Dave Berg's family would be more likely to come after me for making a, you know, tongue in cheek fan club button. Um, let me get a season. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, the estate of Dave Berg. Um, God, a club. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to. I, I can't be. A, we can't start any more clubs with K's in them. All right. That one, you know, it's been ruined. It's been ruined. They've taken that from us. Mad Mania. Hey, what's up, man? You, you've you've shown up um, just in time. Send me your new address. Uh, I have a book for you. Uh, can you DM me? Can you send me a direct message on Instagram? Um, here, I can... Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch
ba ba ba. Paste. issue three nice um that's my oh you did what oh oh dan burke this is dan oh yeah yeah, yeah. shane this is the this is the creator of bad magazine um yeah, I replied to that. I sent you my address. Yeah. All right. That makes sense. Um, you changed the thing because you were your your name on YouTube is different. And uh I have a hard time clicking. Uh what issue did Pat have? I think I had one and two. Why well, number one, right? I don't know. I mean, that's a thick number one, you know. Yeah, here. Yeah, that's the creator of Bad Magazine. We flipped through it last time, the last live stream, and uh, it was wonderful. And um, Shane Buckley here, he said earlier, he picked it up. He ordered it. He ordered the soft cover and the hard cover. So, um, yeah, man, people enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, but I am, uh, I'm about to dip out because I'm getting sleepy. Um, but, yeah, anyway, guys, hey, thanks for just hanging out with me while I just mumble and doodle and draw and talk about... Um, you know, not really talk about Mad Magazine. Um, I appreciate it. I had a lot of fun. And I hope you have a um, wonderful night. Toodaloo.